So today I'd like to talk about scar treatments because it's a question I get a lot. And the question really is what's the best treatment for my scar? And what can I put on it? What can I use to make it heal better? So the first thing I will say is there's a lot of products out on the market today that promise you a lot that don't really deliver because it's not really evidence-based. Um, there's a lot of products you can buy at pharmacies or on Amazon um, that, you know, they just don't really work. Some people swear by vitamin E oil or coconut oil. Um, in my opinion, and this is my opinion, uh, all of those benefits you get from things like coconut oil, vitamin E oil, this oil, that oil, uh, is the mechanical effect of massaging the product into your scar. Uh, when you put it on every day, you're massaging your scar, and scars respond incredibly well to mechanical force. The only thing we know actually works, to some degree, uh, are silicone products. Whether or not it's a silicone sheet or a silicone gel, uh, it's got to be some sort of a silicone product that puts a mechanical force on your scar. So the two types of products uh, that are made from silicone are silicone gels or silicone sheets. Silicone sheets probably work a little bit better, but they're much more difficult to use because there are these long strips that uh, you got to put on yourself every day. You got to take them off before you shower. You got to put them back on after you shower. So it's a little bit more work. Uh, gels are much easier to use, uh, but may not be quite as effective as the sheets. So another question I get very frequently is, well, if I recommend silicone products, which silicone product should I use? So in order for me to look into this myself, uh, I looked at some popular brands that are on the market today. And I also went on Amazon and I found the most readily available, highest rated silicone products that I could find that I would, that I would choose if I were to find something on Amazon. So we'll first start with the silicone gels. Uh, the first one is the Amazon Aromas silicone gel. Uh, the second one is going to be the Biocornium. And the third one is going to be the Silogen. And they're all 100% silicone gels. So the first one is the Amazon one. Put it on. And it's important to know that they're thin layers. If you put it on too thick, it just won't dry. And it's just sticky and kind of messy. Uh, all, all day long and I'm just putting this on my hand like this I'm gonna test them all out and then I'll just do this on the third one so I'll rub all of them into my in the back of my hand the Amazon aroma silicone gel is it's a nice consistency it's a little thin um, the biocornium is definitely thicker Biocornium is a little thicker and greasier. And the Silogen is thicker than the Biocornium, but not as greasy. Actually, it's not greasy at all. It's drying really, really well in, in, on the back of my hand. Biocornium is still very wet, still pretty greasy. And the Aromas is fairly dry at this point, but it's pretty watery, it's pretty thin. Um, so in terms of the back of my hand, and you can see that they all they all dry clear. Um, you can see the middle of my hand right there is where the biocornium is and that's still pretty thick and greasy. Um, so conclusions, the two medical grade silicone gels are definitely better. Um, they have a, a weight to them that the aromas from Amazon just can't compare to. Uh, and between the biocornium and the silogen, the biocornium is just a little greasy and heavy uh, and it doesn't really dry um, so the Silogen is definitely my pick for the silicone gel if you're gonna go that route now in terms of silicone sheets I have two different kinds uh, the first one is the aromas from Amazon you can buy it on Amazon it's fairly inexpensive uh, and then the second one is the Silogen sheet because Biocornium doesn't actually make a, a sheet, so you can only buy the gel from Biocornium. Uh, so I'll take a look at these two. Okay, so these are the two products. Uh, this one is the Amazon Aroma Silicone Sheet, and this is the Silogen Sheet. 
It's uh, the Silagen sheet just in the hands is a lot thicker. It's uh, it's just a little heftier of a silicone sheet. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but th they both stick very w pretty well. Um, the Aromas, the Amazon product, feels a lot like uh, just a Band-Aid and about the thickness of a Band-Aid, um, whereas the Silagen silicone sheet feels a lot heftier. Um, and that's important to me because we know that the actions of a silicone sheet are mechanical. It's the fact that it's putting a pressure on the scar that's doing the work. So something a little bit thicker, something a little bit robust uh, is going to work better. So my choice for the silicone sheet is going to be from Silagen also. Um, they come in a variety of different shapes depending on what kind of surgery you had. Uh, or you can just buy squares or rectangles um, that come and you can just cut them to, to size. So I was really impressed with the Silagen product line. Uh, I wanted to test them out because I wanted to choose something that I stood behind. Uh, and I felt very comfortable recommending this product line to my patients after surgery uh, because I get the question a lot of what can be done to optimize the, uh, the outcome of their scars.